Do you wonder how a cantilever beams looks like in real life experience? So on today's tutorial, we are going to look at a cantilever beam and how the beams looks like in real life life experience so welcome back again to my youtube channel if you're new here you know how we do it kindly subscribe share and don't forget to leave a comment so let's proceed to the to defining first what a cantilever beam is now let's let's define what a cantilever beam this is a beam that is supported only on one end so that means one end is fixed and the other end is exposed beyond the support so this is how the cantilever beams looks like so this end is fixed and the other end is free is a free end so you find that the beam transfers the load to the support where it can manage the moment of force and shear stresses now i want us to look at how a cantilever beam looks like in real life so we have some few few drawings that we manage to get for the cantilever beam so this is our first cantilever beam so if you can look at this drawing here, this is the beam here that we are talking about. Sorry, not going upward, that is a column. So this end here is fixed and this end here is exposed. So that is a cantilever beam. So whenever you see one end fixed and the other one is left free end, it's a free end, you should know that that is a cantilever. That is a cantilever beam. Now we proceed to the next one. So these are cantilever beams where we have on top the slab. These are cantilever beams. So you can see they are fixed on this end. This end is fixed and these ends are fixed. Those ends are fixed. These ends are left exposed. They are free hands. So that is a cantilever beam. And remember cantilever beams are very simple to, to construct because you'll find that you only need one end fixed, a support on one end, the other end is, is free. So it's very easy to construct uh, a cantilever beam. Now let's look at another one. Wow, this is also a cantilever beam. Actually, the arrow is just indicating where the cantilever beam is. So this is a cantilever beam. This end is fixed and the other end is exposed. That is our cantilever beam. A next cantilever beam is this one here. This is also a cantilever beam. This end is fixed and then this end of the beam is exposed. So this beam becomes our cantilever, our cantilever beam. So sometimes you might wonder how the reinforcement of the cantilever are done. So I think in our next video, we are going to look at the reinforcement of the cantilever beam so that we can get full understanding of how the reinforcement are done. So let's look at our next cantilever beam that we have. So that is our next cantilever beam. So you find that cantilevers are used in mostly in balcons. Like if you can look at this this house, this looks like a balcon. And you'll find that they are they are they have the beam one hand fixed as we are saying and the other is exposed to the air. In fact, the particular span of the cantilever depends also on the depth of the of the cantilever. How deep is this cantilever determines the, the span of that cantilever. So this is our cantilever beams. Actually here we have two of them. We have this one and we also have this one and then this is where we have our fixed end this is where we have our exposed end and also on on the other side is our is our exposed end you'll find that the cantilevers we say they can be easily constructed because actually constructing this beam is very easy so since you do not need support on the on the other side and then the negative bending moments created in these cantilever beams helps to counteract the positive bending moments that are created. So we can look at that later. But you find that these cantilever beams, they cannot be subjected to large deflection. As you can see, they cannot be subjected to large deflection. So that is also a disadvantage of the cantilever, of the cantilever beam. So let's look at the next 
the next cantilever beam that we have. So let's look at this cantilever beam that we have here. So this is our cantilever beam, this one here. Let me highlight the beam, this is the beam here. So this one is fixed, this part is left exposed. So you'll find that usually for small cantilever beams, the span is restricted to two to three meters, but the span can also be increased either by increasing the depth or using a steel or pre-stressed structural unit. So the span can be constructed longer given that the structure can counteract the movements as we had said, as we had said earlier. And then we should also know that the cantilever beam must be properly fixed to the wall or support to reduce the effects of overturning. They overturn more frequent, so the fixing must be done very well. So guys, that is how our cantilever beams looks in real life. Until next time, bye-bye.